Well, howdy do, my friends, and welcome to the Contingency Plan. This is version 2.0 of miscellaneous items to have in your bug out. These items can be in your vehicle, in your home, or in your everyday carry. It doesn't matter where you keep them as long as you have them. Some of these will be duplicates shown in previous videos, but that's because they are that important, and because there will be people that see this video that didn't see the previous videos. So let's begin, shall we? Handcuff keys. A cheap item that can be hidden in multiple locations. You can get a pack of five for around $5. A power inverter. Everyone should have one of these in their vehicle. A subscriber recently suggested a drywall hammer. Just looking at it, you can see multiple uses for one of these. A hammock. I don't see this mentioned often, but to me this is a very simple, very inexpensive no-brainer. One of the most important aspects of survival is keeping yourself off the ground while sleeping in order to avoid convection, which can kill you. Clearly this sort of video would not be complete without bolt cutters. Not only will they cut through wire fences, chains, and padlocks, but in a pinch can also be used to beat the hell out of someone. Rope and or paracord. Learn two to three good knots as well, otherwise it's fairly useless. Fire is obviously very important. Not only should you know how to make a Dakota fire hole, but you should also have multiple ways of making fire, such as char cloth, Vaseline cotton balls, wooden matches, a magnifying glass, lighters, a ferro rod, and any other method of making fire you can think of. Alternate forms of communication such as CB radio, ham radio, or even simple two-way walkie-talkies. Something other than your cell phone. A medical supply bag. This should not only contain what you would expect it to, but also items you may not already have in your medical kit, like amoxicillin and colloidal silver. A quality knife, as well as several ways to process firewood. A gas mask and filters. Many people get the wrong idea in regards to gas masks. Yes, if you have a high quality military grade mask and filters, it will protect you against some biological and chemical agents. But without complete mop gear protecting your entire body, life is going to suck. The main purpose of a gas mask is going to be against CS gas, more commonly known as tear gas for obvious reasons if you've ever been subjected to it. In the military, we are forced to go to what is called the gas chamber. I went a total of three times, and while I am not nearly as affected by CS gas as someone who has never been in the military, it's still not a pleasant experience. A gas mask is going to get you out of an area where CS gas has been deployed without the unpleasant side effects associated with it. Several ways to process water. Boiling is always your friend, but if you don't have the time or resources at the moment to boil it, you should have a few alternative ways to make water safe to drink. Maps. I don't care how you do it. Laminate your own, use an atlas, whichever form you prefer. Have maps of relevant areas to where you are and where you plan on going. Even if you know the area very well, a map can show you things you may not be aware of, such as alternate routes. A quality set of optics. I personally prefer a monocular or the scope on a rifle, but have something that allows you to see things at a distance. Have a bag of clothing to change into in case of an emergency. You have no way of knowing when or where an event may go down or what you may be wearing when it does. A bag of clothing, including appropriate footwear, is going to make things much easier on you. An AR or other high capacity long gun. Have a handgun as well for backup, but your primary get your ass home firearm should be something like an AR. There's a reason they want to take these away from us. It's a damn shame about my boating accident, but that's another video entirely. No other defensive weapon will allow you to reach out and touch someone while giving you 30 rounds to do so. At the very least, it will help to keep predators at a distance if used properly. Thank you for watching and God bless each one of you. Peace.